The AEW Fight Forever game has faced internal criticisms. Elsewhere, we have an update on WWE King and Queen of the Ring, and Rhea Ripley looks set to compete in a groundbreaking match. More on that in this very video. Hello everybody, Jack and Ross back again. The AEW Fight Forever video game, it's so it's not it's not out yet, but it's is it out yet? It's the end of the month. It's the end of the month. Either right? the 27th or 29th. I always get the two mixed up. It's one of those two days. I've seen people playing like demos of it and stuff online. But um, FIFA Select have an update on the game, including some early concerns. Yeah, some internal criticisms have been to the limited creation suite, which we're told, FIFA are told, just simply isn't expansive. Ah, that's a shocker. Yeah. Uh, do you need a good create a restless system? Of course you do. You yeah. need an expansive one, doing all the hair the and the eyes. The belts. And, yeah, the, sort of the, the torso, the clothes, mm -hmm. the mannerisms, the entrance. Everyone wants an expansive creation suite. Uh, there were also some concerns regarding the repetitive clothing involving other characters involved in the story mode. That's a very minor thing for me by the sounds of that. Yeah. Joe Bloggs walking down the corridors wearing the same shirt as someone in the game. I don't give a toss. Oh, does other characters mean like extras? But I don't know. I said maybe. I don't know. Oh, it's does quite it mean that thing, all the wrestlers are just wearing black t-shirts backstage? I hope not. Surely oh, not. No. There were also some limited uh, limitation on creating the story mode itself that the developers faced, though they did take input from the actual wrestling talent involved. Oh no! Why have you listened to the wrestlers when you're making the, the story well, mode? Well, that's the young bucks are just going to be winning everything <laughs> all of the time. You have to fight for the right to be young bucks best friend yeah that's the final of the story mode. um so internal criticism about aw fight forever but on the other hand i suppose you could argue yes it doesn't apparently have the most expansive creation suite but it's a more arcadey game it's i oh know maybe that should mean it should be more outlandish and more wacky the creation yeah, i mean suite. so far what we've seen from the the cool people who have got their hands on the game before everybody else it looks absolutely fantastic to play you know we've got mm. john moxley i don't think it's an actual bomb but he's throwing some sort of bomb device at other people in the ring we've seen the stuff with the skateboards they're, they're throwing it to the wall i'm going to sneeze in a second oh, but i hold no. it in elephant 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 Chris elephant Stalander. i can yeah. try and carry on if you uh, want the, 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 the stuff with throwing them into the big LED board at the top of the ramp. It looks like what a wrestling game is. Yeah, for my money, you know, there will be a market of people out there who prefer the more realistic sort of style that 2K kind of go down and more simulaic style, I guess is mm. the, the way to say it. But I, I prefer like this this throwback to a game of our youth. Is that where, the way you said the word market there and you emphasized mark, is that where the term? I don't know. Oh my God. I is that know. where the term marks? I just thought is... that there was a demographic, maybe. But then you went, there'll be. I thought you were going to say there'll be marks out there who prefer a different. No, type. I don't use. No, no, I know like you that. wouldn't. But now it's just, it's just hit me, and I thought back in the carnival days where wrestling began. I thought it was because they used to mark the ones that could. Oh, the, the gullible the ones. The silly billies, yeah, yeah. We can get their money. Yeah, look a little at the bit of charcoal on the, on the back yeah, there. You're right, yeah, you're right. Yeah, it is because of that, not because of the word market. I do apologise, everybody. Uh, apparently, an infamous botch, an infamous AEW botch, has been recreated in Fight Forever. It's apparently. Uh, been praised despite these previous criticisms it has been praised from a gameplay standpoint as you said and the playability and multiplayer modes will make it a success apparently it's also loaded with easter eggs and they've even poked fun at themselves there's a funny <laughs> ribbon there everybody uh, saying that the exploded barbed wire death matches surrounds all that revolution 2021 mm. wasn't it uh, we're told there are two options for the finish a stunning brutal explosion or a dud firework display a la AEW revolution 2021 that's according to fight for them I think that would be I think that's quite Quite good good on them to laugh at themselves you gotta laugh at yourself even though i thought at the time they brought it around quite well saying you know kenny omega couldn't he couldn't organize a piss up yeah. in a brewery could he so that's the explosion he put on but you know that's not what actually happened was it no no it wasn't <laughs> and looking back i can't believe it um and then they had to sell it as well eddie yeah. kingston and Moxley but it was the, the shock you know you think you're gonna die he passed they, out he they came up with a really good reason for it. Um, AEW have also reached out to hire a former DX member. And I went, when Tom read this to me upstairs, I went, oh, a former, and then I realized oh, they can only be Road one. Dog. They can only be one. <laughs> Road Dog's already tried. And out of the only living DX members left, Billy Gunn's already there. Triple H and Sean aren't going to go. It's it's X Park. Big makes bloody noise. Sean Waltman, isn't it? Uh, I think we've tried it. This is what Billy Gunn was saying. I think we've tried to get Sean in here a couple of times. Things just didn't work out. But I think the ta if the time is right, I think it would be a great asset because he still has huge uh, popularity and everyone knows him. And he's such a good guy. Ah, oh, what a good boy he is. Uh, that he would not only help the younger talent as well as uh, be a good representative for the company, as he'd be. Uh, as he'd be, he'd be amazing if we could get him in here. Oh, he'd be very time, good. Really. Yes. We all like Sean Waltman. He's a very good bloke. Yes, that was um, sports keener Billy Gunn was trying to there. Now, I, I think that this would be, I would love it if they got X-Pac because I think we could get the scoops then. Why? Because he's friends with Matthew. Is he actually? 
Oh, oh, I don't know. They, 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 they did the yeah, weed, don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they did it. They did it once, and where it was legal and everything. That's when Ron yeah. Funch just gave Little Matthew too much. He thought Little Matthew was the size of Batista, and gave him like a, so, gave him a, a, a massive brownie. You and, you and Sam went. You and Sam went to this. I went to a wrestling show at the time, but I really regret that because the wrestling show wasn't that good. Well, it was, a, it was a, a Botchamania show where Matthew had like a, a video prepared and yeah. he was sat at the front with Ron Funches. So did they and, have microphones? Yeah, at the front, yeah, him and Waltman and Ron Funches. And was and, it obvious that something was up with Matthew? At the end, because me and Sam were stood at the back and then walked out at the front to go and get Matthew and he was just sort of like a corpse. Um, <laughs> but Sean Waltman would be a good representative for AEW. He wasn't responsible for Matthew's state in that picture no, there. No. Let's get the picture up. Oh, no. <laughs> Will the editor have the picture? To Hannah, I don't know. I'll, this find video. It. Yeah, I'll find it somewhere. Um, <laughs> and also, well, just moving very swiftly on to an update on WWE King and Queen of the Ring. Five Foot Select were asked if King of the Ring, uh, sorry, Five Foot Select asked WWE if King of the Ring could be rescheduled this year. And this is what those in the know had to say. Uh, what did they say, Jack? Uh, when we asked them, uh, those in the know said they hadn't heard of that, but that King of the uh, King and Queen of the Ring was mentioned as something in their back pocket for future. Saudi shows, excuse so if, me. If they don't know what the theme of a uh, future Saudi show, we'll make it King yeah, and Queen King of the Ring. King of the Ring yeah. I wasn't, I, I mean, I know that they are taking the, the Saudi shows more seriously now in terms of not only the match quality, but how it, how crucial it is in, in canon, in storyline. But King and Queen of the Ring always feels a bit rushed to me. Yeah. The match length was short. I know it was nice that Woods won. Queen Zelina didn't really... The women's tournament was very short. You know what the issue is, Jack? It's the fact they're forced to be a literal king or queen once the tournament's over. Yeah, they don't Imagine move. if Austin had to do that. We wouldn't be sat here today, would we? No. We'll be talking no. about WCW instead. <laughs> yes, we would. <laughs> or we wouldn't be here. Um, yeah, the, it really hampers people. Although Roman did break Xavier's crown eventually. Yeah, exactly. It went nowhere. He was made out like an arsehole for a little while and it went nowhere. It worked with Booker T. But that's the only time. Yeah, maybe. you go through. Well, Barrett, I guess, had a, a modicum uh, of success yeah. with it. Seamus, kind uh, of. It looked cool Corbin. with a different crown. No, it just gets it gets <laughs> drags on, doesn't it? Eventually, yeah. yeah. Um, and also, better wrestling experience. Have reported that there is apparently truth to these rumors on WWE's plans for Rhea Ripley to compete against male WWE superstars, which is apparently something the company have been working towards for some time. And I think that's possibly true because you can definitely tell. There's been segments where Dom's hid behind her and gone, eh. and then, eh. Eh. and then like Rollins or I think recently Cody, for example, got like, well, I can't, I can't do anything now. I can't hit you. But I think, well, Rhea could batter most of the men in the division. So yeah, yeah. And if she throws the first shot, I guess in wrestling canon, that means the other wrestlers are able to perform wrestling maneuvers to her as well. If they're gonna do it, I think that, you know, because they never do intergender wrestling these days they should probably make it a really big deal and presumably when Rhea wins it should be like a massive thing she should be challenging folk as well I think that's the way to make mm. it like a big ex like exclamation point on that sort of thing yeah so her just looked like someone but have her challenge Bronson Reed he, Bronson she, can get, Reed. she can get Bronson Reed up for a riptide I believe yeah I think she could I believe in the mother and the pop would be the mother the pop would be amazing as well yeah, yeah. I think that'd be good um, it's not actually determined yet apparently if uh, this will be Rhea having a big premium live event match against a male opponent or if there'll be consistent plans going forward for her to compete in the men's division China in the continental title is what springs to mind straight away. Why the hell not? Let's yeah, run it back. If it wasn't for Gunter holding it, and clearly, as we mentioned in the previous news video today, it seems like they want him to hold it for a long time. Oh, Austin Theory. Oh, yeah. He, he could take the, a loss yeah, from Dave Ripley. Definitely. And then she could be the US champion. It writes itself. It does. Apart from she's on Raw, isn't she? And he's on SmackDown. But we'll forget about that. The brand split means nothing. No, it, We'll yeah. get to it later. That's right. The wild card rule can come back. Um, have you got anything Anything you want to plug? Yeah, I don't know this week. I don't know what's been no. edited and what hasn't been edited. There's a tier list on the channel that went live yesterday that me and Frazier did about heels because I thought that would be his natural calling in life to have him speak about bad people in wrestling. So How did he do? He did all right, uh, right? Fair Because he's a bad person. Um, hold and give. <laughs> yeah, football content there. Uh, hold and give on the Yo and show. I'm on Twitch every Wednesday with... Uh, so are you. We're both on Twitch every Wednesday. Ross is doing FIFA. I do Football Manager with Owen Morrison. You can find all of that at twitch.tv forward slash cultaholic thanks very much for watching this news video leave your thoughts in the comments section down below and we'll see you very soon